The Tour of the Lake District is a 96 mile circuit starting and finishing in the popular tourist town of Ambleside. The trail takes in each of the main Lake District valleys, along lake shores, through woodland and over remote mountain passes. Join me as I take on this winter Lakeland adventure with a mix of freezing wild camps and cosy country pubs. There we are. The Patterdale Inn is it or the Patterdale Hotel? I can't even remember. But that was chef's kiss. 50 quid, <laughs> free course meal and breakfast and bed. It's unbelievable. Should have been 80 on the website but we got it for 50. I feel like an old people's home in there but it was fantastic. It was proper, no frills obviously, no frills but just good stuff. There's a, a bit of chill in the air today and and this is the day. This is when it, this is the weather warnings. The forecaster said it's going to be howling it down with snow and that. But I mean, my friends in different parts of the country have said it's, uh, it's snowing where they are. But fingers crossed it just staves off a little bit. I don't mind the end, that'll be all right. I feel good. I only had one pint and then my dinner and then I was in bed <laughs> early doors after the uh, previous night's frosty debacle. Right, I better just look at my map here because I think I'm going this way. Let's have a look. Redick! Nope. I believe that's where we're heading. Between this gap here, I believe, and other cramp balls and turkey tails all over this stump. Lovely stuff. Medic! Medic. Right, we just crossed the river. There's a tiny little bit of road work, and now we're off. What's it like? Nice. I think just ye old gravity will sort that out, will it? <laughs> you get another shot at it, mate. You get another bite of the. <laughs> yes, yes. I've been stingy with, uh, with recording because I don't know when these batteries are going to go, mate. But anyway, I've just been walking on thinking, I wonder where this snow is. Like, there's people at breakfast, um, I have heard them chatting about, oh, we better get going because we don't want to get snowed into Patterdale. And I was thinking, phew. I don't want to get snowed into Patterdale either. I mean, I'm having a wonderful time in <laughs> eating these. Well, it's like school dinners, it was, but it was in a good way. And as soon as I say that, you can see a couple of little flecks of snow coming down. And a. Oh, what's this? Look. He don't give a kick, look. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. Stand your ground, kid. Yeah, there's a few little flecks coming down and you can tell on tops it's coming down. It's that colour of cloud that says snow. Can you see it? Maybe you see it off of my black. Maybe not. Wear and tear. If it's a white out and it's snowing and that, I'm not going to go over red screes because there won't be any views. Done red screes a couple of times, so I'm not gunning to see it. I would like to show you, but the other way just looks as good and if it's white out up top anyway there's no point is there <laughs> right where am i going here am i lost right have a check map time Ooh. medic
I went wrong. Because wind keeps getting up and blowing snow in eyes, so I've just got to keep head down so so the peak at cap sort of protects my eyes. And I was in my own little world. <laughs> and then I looked at my GPS and it had all gone off and it just said, uh, you're on the wrong path or something like that. So I've either got to trek back down here and go up to join it, or I can just randomly hike straight up this hill, which I think I'm going to do and try and join the path that way because I'm off this way at the moment. As you can see, there's just no, there's no visibility. And it's just going to be miserable up there, so I'm going to go this way and try and link onto my path and try not to get too wet. Weather's closing in now. I'm back on track. I had to come all the way over here and up here. It's pretty slippy now on these stones as I make my way up there to see why I go on. I've had to deploy these as well because I'm all over the place. Look at this, right near top. Not gonna get much colder than that, are you? And it's, it's one of them, right, where it's like, even right up top, and that's deep. That looks deep enough to swim in almost. Beauty, should go in. <laughs> Oh no! Now I've said it, I've got that little... The call of the void is telling me to go in. Right, I'm gonna have a little plunge in here. Invigorate myself at final push. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Can I get through ice? Oh, it's a bit hard. Oh! <laughs> Am I gonna ah, splice myself open? Get out, road, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, it's deep! It's deep! Oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh, that's next level cold, mate. Look at that. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> it's just freezing. Oh, it's going to be nice. I know it's going to be nice to get clothes on that. Which I'm going to do now, quick. Come on. What the? <laughs> oh, it's trapped behind a little strapoodle. There we are. <laughs> hey. Oh. Jobs a donut. Uh, jobs a donut. Look, <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Just what I needed, though. Felt like I needed a bit of a kick up ass, and that was it. Woo! Brand new. So, see that ridge there? We're up to that ridge, up and over it. I'm gonna have to concentrate a little bit. So as I don't stack it too hard, that's cold. And I don't know what path is like. I'm just, just winging it a little bit here. Woo! I'll get my glove on. Oh, where am I? I don't think there's not much of a path. It's a bit boggy. Feet have got wet now. I'm looking forward to this push up to the top, just to warm me up a little bit. I doubt we'll be having any views. <laughs> by the looks of things, might just be getting smashed in face by snow, but I'm having a good time. Right, I'm on the top of. <laughs> I've got the. I'm on the top bit of where I'm passing over. And you can go left and over red screes and round, but as you can see, it's white out up there, so the views won't be. Won't be any different, so I'm just going to meander through here and down this, down this valley. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see some views of red screes, uh, many moons ago, I camped up there 
with the intention of uh, skinny dipping in the town on the top during the sunrise but unfortunately a couple turned up in a big old tent and put it right next to town but uh, yeah so it might have to do a little bit of a stealth swim and managed to do it all before they even woke up and I was long gone <laughs> ah, that was a different time different weather we should get some views of this valley here look here we go right, can you see on there probably not I like it though it's a place I've never been never hiked this way before and it's nice to put it in the old mental map for future reference but before I descend I'm going to double check my map make sure it's the right descent to do taking refuge behind this wall it's blowing the gale out there and it's just nice and calm here just in the just because I because I caught sort of wear my heart on my sleeve quite a bit and I just tell you all about stuff to probably overshare a little bit too much um did, did it even what should I even tell you I don't know it's just I just found out that my nan died and so it's just it's hard for me to just wanna just be like hey into the camera because I just need a little bit of time probably <laughs> I just need to walk I just need to walk into there uh, so I just want to dedicate, I just guess I'm dedicating this now. Just big up my nan, big up June, Nanny June. A trooper, if ever there was one. Lost my granddad to the big sea, found love again, got married again. Lost her another husband at Big C and she just soldiered on like she just soldiered on just I think it's that generation in it just get your head down and just crack on man get on with it and I was very close to me nan but it's like you know, when it gets near end and that, and people get poorly, it ain't nice seeing them suffering. And so it's kind of a little bit, a like, bit of sweet, innit? Because you don't, obviously, you don't want to go, but then you know that they're not suffering anymore. So it just takes edge off, doesn't it? it rounds edges off a little bit in your in the narrative you can paint in your noggin, where you can just say, "Oh, at least they're in a better place now." And um yeah and I'm glad I went to see her again just re recently and I knew I kind of knew that that was the last the last time I saw her was going to be the last time I saw her and it's just uh, rest in peace Danny June Ugh, another absent friend to add to the list of absent friends in fact is it disrespectful to do it with electrolytes I don't think it is it's what she would have wanted <laughs> Fallen soldiers. I'll have a proper sup tonight. I'll have a proper sup tonight for your nan. Anyway, so that's just wanted to let you know that's why I'm um maybe banter banter bus isn't gonna be that good I'm coming out of here because I just wanna just think <clears throat> I'll be alright in a in a mile or two just having to think. Just feels wrong, doesn't it? Like, well, it does to me. It just feels wrong. Your nan just passing away, and then you're like, hey, medic! Or, <laughs> not to her, but to like animals or whatever. And like giving it all, just getting excited over latches and locks and that, which. 
it seems a bit mental, doesn't it? <clears throat> Do you want to see this? Look. Ugh. Just a bit of respite out of that, out of that wind. I ain't got too far to go now. It's clouding over, man. It's it's closing in quite a bit, and weather's um, and snow's coming, and it's the temperatures dropping. Bloody blah, isn't it? Perspective, mate. Last thing I ever told you was that I love you, though. That's got a. Uh, thank God. And you know, you know, she had three daughters, loads of grandkids, loads of family visiting her and being with her in the end. And she passed away peacefully, so... You can't grumble, can you? You can't grumble at them stats. Right. Oh, okay, we'll sit here for a little bit and then uh, bat on into the mist. On day one, when I said, oh, you can just chuck your bits of timber in, in there, there it is, in action, look. That's brilliant. There it is, Ambleside. We did it. <laughs> We did it. Uh, back in Ambleside. What a journey. And it has been a journey. In many ways. And uh, right now, I had thought that it, it's not ended out, I don't know. I can't really put it into uh, perspective or can't find the words really. It's been emotional and uh, yeah it's just been emotional I don't have any final words or anything like that at the moment but I guess I just need time to process it and um, and, 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 and do it justice so we'll do that in map time. Thanks for joining me on this trail and thanks for all the, the support and the messages and everything. I see you all and I appreciate it very much. Let's take it to the future and finish on a map time. Bye for now. Welcome to final map time. So here we go, we woke up in Patterdale after, and I'll say it again, 50 quid, three course meal, bed and breakfast. Wonderful. Off we went, it was a cold start to the morning. We cross over here, follow this lovely track. Along here, nice easy walking, nice and flat, all the way down. Then we join on, there's a little bit of road work here, but not so much. Double back ever so slightly through this wonderful gate and up by the side of Brother's Water. Keep going up past this farm, over these fields, and around here. This is where I goofed. So I was supposed to go up here, but because snow was in my eyes, I just sort of meandered down here, not thinking too much of it. And then when I realised, I thought, well, I could either double back or I could just wing it. And you can see how steep it is here, look. So I winged it up here and followed up Kirsten Beck. This is where I stopped from my swim, a delightful little kick up the arse and just what I needed. Over we go up to Scandale Pass and over 
The views were quite nice actually, it was quite misty but that gave it a little bit of atmosphere and, uh, and, and a lovely little walk down here through this valley. It was quite long, it was beautiful but I wasn't really vlogging that much but I managed to get some shots all the way down here following this. There's some lovely swimming areas down here that I've marked out for later, maybe in the summer. On we go. Keep going down and there we are, look, yeah. All the way down, back. Full circle, look, I set off that way. And then I've come back in here. Whew. What a journey, mate, what a journey. And what lessons have I learned, man? I'm just, I don't know, I really don't know. At the beginning, I mean, there's a lot of lessons to be learned that I've taken from it in the beginning. It took a lot just to get to the start point and that was, that was my lesson. It's like, just, just turn up, just get to the start point. And then after the halfway mark, it was like, right, just get to the finish, set your goal, get to the end. I think the overriding thing that I've taken from it is to maybe not think about the end and think about the start and it's just because things change and things can be quickly put in perspective. So the lesson I've taken away from this is appreciate the moment. Just live in that moment, in the day that you're in, in the minute that you're in and then nothing can really affect you. You're not going to get anxious about the future, you're not going to get depressed about the past and you can just live happily in the moment right thanks so much for watching take care of yourselves and bye for now